Hello everybody. So today we are going to be having a look at what is an embedded system. Before we have a look at what is an embedded system, we do need to understand what is a computer first. So a computer is any programmable machine or electronic device which takes in data, processes it, and then outputs the results. So this is that model, the input process output model that we've probably heard of before. Importantly as well, computers are general purpose. Now, when we say general purpose, it means that you can have multiple programs installed onto the computer and you can access them. You can use the computers for different reasons. So that is what is meant by general purpose. An embedded system is similar to a computer. However, it's kind of the opposite. So if you were going to answer a question about what is an embedded system, you could quite simply say it is a system that is built into a larger machine that's accepted on the mark scheme. And not as a separate answer, but something you can add on to your answer. You can say that they are built for one purpose. And a good thing about an embedded system is once it's been made, it doesn't need updating for whichever machine that it's built into. So all of the components of the embedded system are usually built into a single circuit board. And we're going to look at a few examples now. So the first example is a washing machine. And this is top of the list on the mark scheme as well. So if you think of a washing machine, and if you were going to open it up, which I wouldn't recommend, you've got buttons on the front of your washing machine. And inside you've got a single circuit board that these buttons will interact with. And these buttons can do different things such as um, starting your wash. It could be to, to change the temperature. It could be to cancel the wash and so on. And all of these will interact with that single circuit board that is being built into this larger machine. Other examples include a microwave or a microwave if you're Nigella Lawson. Got a toaster. Notice that all of these are kitchen appliances, by the way. Apart from this, you, unless you use that in the kitchen, you've got a calculator, but there are loads more. So if you're trying to think of some examples in your exam, think kitchen. It's probably your easiest way to remember. Here are some example questions that you can practice. I would recommend pausing the video now and giving them a go. Don't forget, try and not look back at any notes that you've got in your book or try and not rewind the video. Give them a go first and then you can go back and see if you got them right. And I'll see you in the next session.